allowed to see the damage that was done. So far, so good. Uh, not much damage here, but I understand the campground did sustain. And again, we don't have any power or electricity. So what I can tell you is that the railroad bridge, or I shouldn't say the bridge, the it's like a little overpass over the river. There's a tree down right there, so that means uh, if a train comes, there is no signals. So let's hope like the Dickens, uh, no train comes down and they stop. Here we go into the campground. So far here, it looks okay. But as you see, nobody has lights on in the houses at the bottom of the hill. So if the gate is up, then that tells me that we do not have power. As you see, that gate is jacked up. That one is up. That tells me that uh, we're in bad shape. Power. So we got people outside basically because you know, there's nothing that we can do. Gate is we got generators running throughout the campground. As you see, uh, right here it seems pretty good, but I live. I know down on Spruce, there's some damage. Um, yeah, a lot of wind damage. And that's the damage on Spruce. As I go up the hill, I can start to see the little branches that fell. So I just talked to a friend of mine that does some RV work, and we did have a tree come down. Uh, poked a hole in somebody's stuff. Uh, big branches, big branches come down. And it looks like we held up pretty good. So let's see what's going on. Uh, so we got a lot of uh, small stuff down back here. We got a branch come down on that unit right there. And uh, well, this is what we got. Just small. Little stuff. Let me fire the genie. 